Alright, today I'm going to be showing you how to get a custom uh, slide to unlock word place right there because it just says slide to unlock but I'm going to show you how to get it customly made to say whatever you want. Alright, to first start off I'm going to show you mine. It doesn't say slide to unlock, it says open here. So that, yeah, I'm going to make it so you're able to do that. Which is your unlock Wi-Fi, and you're gonna go to Wi-Fi, and it's gonna have right here. And what is Wi-Fi? You're gonna see this little blue arrow side bars, where the one you're connected to. You're gonna click, and the first one from it is your IP address. Your IP address shows you like what internet protocol access. Your protocol address is where people can track the iPod from it. Like they can't find out where you're at, but if you do if you have the right kind of software you can see what's on the iPod which is really really cool yeah so let's get started you're gonna get your internet protocol address or IP address and what you're gonna do is you're gonna have win SCP and I have it right here you can download it because the link the link is in the description there's another video where I'm gonna be showing you how to get your iPod on your screen so so subscribe to get the next video your host name is going to be your internet protocol address so you're going to put it in your host name area right here yeah IP address goes in the host name and your port number should already 20 it's not on 22 then change it to 22 now what your username is going to be is it's going to be root and your password is going to be alpine a l p i n e and then you're going to after you put in your internet protocol address so i got to put in my internet protocol address and you may not see it I have it. I have my IP address in. And I can't really even show to see it, so. No, it's great. Anyways have it and you're gonna first what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up so you have all your desktop now we just gotta add everything else you need everything else you need is what we're gonna do right now so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your desktop and you're gonna add a new folder you can do it by right clicking anywhere Go into new and then having a folder. And you're going to name it open here txt. The txt is in caps. Yeah. So now you got to open it. When you open it from your desktop, you're going to open a brand new um, folder by right-clicking anywhere, 
in this section, go into New, and then Folder. And you're going to name that one Bundles. B-U-N-D-L-E-S. The B is capitalized. Click that, and inside there, you're going to right-click again, and you're going to go to New. And you're going to make a new folder, and you're going to name that one com.apple.springboard. To do that, you're going to type in C O M period A P P L E period S P R I N G B O A R D. Com.apple.springboard. And you're going to open up that. And inside that, you're going to put E N period L P E N period L P R O J. So N dot L project. And you're going to open that up. And it's going to say Springboard. And to get this, you have to actually download a file. And to download it, you're going to move the Springboard thing right here from the other file that you're going to download. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, you're gonna download the file that I sh that I showed you. Well, that's in the description, and when you download it, it's gonna have a README text document and a strings file that says Springboard. Now, what you're gonna do is that folder that you made that says e e e n period l p r o j. You're gonna click and drag and drag it to here into that file and to what you're gonna do is you're gonna click it and you're you're gonna double click it and it's gonna say that it can't do it or whatever so you, it's gonna ask you do you want to open it with a program on your computer and you're gonna click yes see I'll show you right now you're gonna double click it and it's gonna be like no you can't open it and you gotta click open with a program on your computer. And when it do it, when you do it, it's gonna open up and it's gonna look something like this. It's gonna say lock oh, away lock label prints. And this is where you're gonna do it. You're gonna slowly and do it just right. And you're gonna erase the prints only. Keep two spaces that are gonna be in there. And you're gonna write whatever you want, like uh, we're gonna write tester so that way we can test it but since I'm doing it in the wrong one I'm not gonna save it I'm gonna come back to my en dot l p r o g folder inside the com dot apple dot springboard folder inside the bundles folder inside the text folder that we're making right now and I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna open it up and it says open here where I did it last time and I'm gonna write tester and I'm gonna click file and I'm gonna click save exit out and exit out again and then X this out as well and you're gonna come to your win SCP one and you're gonna go up then you're gonna see a file when you go up once it's called stash it's right underneath sp spool run and it's above TMP it's called stash you're gonna double click that and you're gonna see themes it's gonna see applications include L I B E X E C Pam Rune Share theme wallpaper you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your open here text and you're gonna click and drag it and you're gonna go to themes and you're just gonna drop it themes and it's gonna come up with a little window like this it says copy file open here text to remote directory and you're gonna click copy and it's gonna copy it to your iPod and I've already done it so anyways you're going to put it in there. It's not that other window. It asked me if I wanted to overwrite it because I've already done it. and But I said no because I 
I've like already done everything. So what you're going to do now is once you drag it and put it in there and copy it to that folder, you're going to go into your winter board on your iPod because it just sent it to the iPod. You're going to click select themes and you're going to go to your winter board and you're going to select open here TXT. And what it's going to do is it's going to come up and it's going to say tester just like what we wrote. And you can always go back into it, change it, and then save it. But you have to change the folder name before you do it. So I'm going to show you what mine looks like when you're done.